Welcome to the JSC's Market Data Policy Guide. Our policies are designed to help market professionals and data distributors understand the use of each policy, emphasize the applicability thereof, and enhance the compliance with the regulations pertaining to the use and distribution of our market data. There are five documents which make up your agreement with the JSE. And they are JSE Data Agreement or Indices Data Agreement, the Product and Services Form, the Market Data Policies or the Indices Market Data Policies, the JDA, which is the JSE Data Agreements, or IDA, which is the Indices Data Agreement, as well as related price list. Finally, there might be technical documents if applicable. In this session, I will be covering mobile device policy. We will cover the introduction and definition, as well as examples and conditions of mobile device policy. This policy is intended to provide guidance to users with regards to the distribution of live data through mobile devices. Definitions. A mobile device is a portable handheld device that could store, create, organize, manipulate, and otherwise display the data in one or more forms. A mobile device typically receives and sends data through wireless communications without necessarily needing to be permanently linked or connected to any particular network and or physical location. Examples of a mobile device. Cellular, mobile phones, smartphones, personal digital assistants, and pager devices. Tablets are specifically excluded from the definition of mobile device. Conditions. Other than in relation to the stated examples under the definition of mobile device above and any other device types which the JSE has approved in writing as a mobile devices, contracted users are required to get the approval of the JSE before classifying and reporting a device type as a mobile device. This policy applies only to equities live level one and level two data and live derivatives data. In terms of live derivatives data, this policy only applies to professional end users. In relation to all other data types, the contracted user must pay the standard end user fees. A professional end user paying the live data terminal fee for the data permitted under this policy will be allowed to access the same data through a mobile device at no additional cost provided that the professional end user is not able to access that data through both devices concurrently. The contracted user is liable for both a terminal fee and mobile device fee for professional end users that have concurrent access. For any further questions, please contact the market data team on the email mdclients at jse.co.za.